Hey guys, it's Steve here with a short Blender tutorial. This one will be on rendering animations in Blender. Now you might think, I know how to render an animation in Blender. You just go over here into your render settings, set it to QuickTime, and click Render Animation. Simple as that. Well, that works, but it is by far not the best method to use. So this is what I had thought for the longest time early on in uh, my Blender endeavors. And uh, the issue with this is you're rendering a longer animation with uh, higher quality samples or something. It's taking, you know, 10 minutes of frame or something. It gets halfway done and you have a crash or you want to use your computer for something else because it's moving slow and you can't stop it once it's that far. And that is the biggest difficulty with this setting. So today I'm going to show you the proper way of rendering out animations and after I figured this out it was such a life lifesaver. So the way you render out an animation properly is you do not use a movie file but we're going to use image files and render them out as an image sequence all within Blender. So instead of choosing QuickTime, I'm just going to choose, say, JPEG. You can do any sort of image file. And if you're doing a really high quality video, you'll want to choose a higher quality file, like an OpenEXR or something like that. But I'm just going to choose a JPEG for now, because this is just an example. And I'm going to just turn this uh, sample size way down for the sake of the tutorial. All right, cool. And I'll quick enable my GPU for faster rendering. Excellent. So. I'm just going to choose a file here where I want to output my images. So basically, if you have it set, let me just do that and choose that. Oops, I think I did that wrong. Yeah, I did. Let me just choose that right there. And I'll just name this, we'll just name this intro frames. Uh, we'll just name it intro. That's all we need to do. All right, so when you when you set your output to be like a JPEG or something and then click render animation it will basically save out every single frame into this folder and if you have overwrite checked it will render over whatever images are in there already if they're named the same so what I'm gonna show you guys is I'm just going to click render animation and it will render out each frame save it and render out the next one. So um, this is the proper way to render out an animation. And uh, let me just quick time lapse through this uh, until the rendering of the animation and frames is done. And then I'll pick up with the next step. All right, so that finished and all the frames have been rendered out in my folder. So what I'm going to do now is switch to my video editing tab up here. And you'll see we have our sequencer here and I'm scrolling in, scrubbing in to uh, make this larger. And you're just going to go down to the bottom here and go add image. Then we're going to go to our frames folder and you'll see all of our frames here. I'm just going to hit A to select all of them. Now add image strip. And you can see that we get this large purple strip here. And this is basically our image strip. Now I don't have it placed at one in the beginning of my timeline. So I need to gra uh, grab it and drag it back here. So just do that with G and move it up there. Very good. And uh, this is it. This is animated just like it would be if we rendered it out through QuickTime. But now, if I play it, you can see it's playing a little bit slow because it's basically caching it in. But um, there we go. That is our animation. And now if you want to save this out, there we go. Okay, it's still playing a little bit slow, but I'm uh, recording right now. So I'm going to pause this now. And if you want to save out this animation, well, what we do now is go to default. We can now change it from JPEG to QuickTime because this is in our timeline here. If we go back to, let me go here, if we go back to default, and you scrub down to, where is it? Post-processing. You can see we have compositing here and sequencer here. And it says process the render if there's something in the video sequencer. So basically, if there's anything in the video sequence and editor, this will be what's rendered because this is checked here. 
So I'm going to change it to QuickTime, and let's just put this not in our frames folder, but right there. That's good. And now I can just click Render Animation, and it will render it out very quickly, saving out the QuickTime thing by putting all those frames together. So you don't have to worry about like render time is being really long because the second time rendering it after it's in the video sequence editor is very fast and it just flies through it putting all the frames together. Now just a few things to keep in mind is you want to make sure your frame rate is the exact same on the t you know timeline as it was when you saved out the frames so like don't change this between when you render out the frames or when you render out the movie but um, there we go same with the resolution. So um, now let me go check out my video. So here's my folder, here's my frames folder with all my images in it, and here's my QuickTime file. So I'm just gonna open this up with QuickTime and uh, let's play it. There you go. It uh, rendered out fine, it was perfectly smooth and everything, and just like a normal QuickTime video. Now, the benefit to this, except, you know, on top of the other thing, is being able to cancel midway. So say I had rendered only half these frames here and stopped my render, my computer crashed, or whatever, I would just go and click uncheck, let me see, right here, I would uncheck overwrite, and uh, obviously it would be a JPEG, I would uncheck overwrite, and just go render again, click render animation, and it would go through your folder and not render out any of the frames that are already there and just pick up where you left off and continue rendering those frames. So that is what you do if you want to stop your render halfway. So um, that is it guys. That is the uh, tutorial on the proper way to render out animations in Blender. So I know a lot of you guys might know this but I know there's a good group of you out there that haven't noticed this and it should help you out greatly. So I hope you uh, hope you learned something and enjoyed this quick tutorial, and that will do it for me. So I'll see you later.